Welcome to another favorites video. I've re-fallen in love with this essence from Fresh. It's so nice, this is their black tea kombucha essence. I love it. Oh, it's so nice. It just like helps your skin get like plump and hydrated to start the day. So I do that as my first step. I do have like a sit here and a sit here. grail serums right now. I don't use all every single day. Some days I do. The Tower 28 Intensive Rescue Serum. You know how much I love the spray. If you've got reactive skin, eczema, dermatitis, congested skin, acne, any problem, that's why they call it SOS. The Snail Mucin Power Essence from CauseRx, super affordable, incredibly hydrating. Like gooey, sticky hydrating when you first put it on, but it actually soaks into your skin. This is a constant repurchase for me. Like if I'm out of this, immediately, like next day shipping. Oh, the sun is coming out. And there are giant rain clouds too, but that's because it's gonna be raining the next two weeks. Didn't the last time I did this video it was raining too? It's been a lot of rain. Climate change. <laughs> this is the Bounce Boosting Serum from First Aid Beauty. Oh, I love this. Intensely nourishing, hydrating, and plumping. I feel like you could bounce a penny off my face. I don't totally know what that means, but that's like a saying that people say. Megan, that's what sayings mean. <laughs> okay. If you have a compromised skin barrier, this is amazing. If you don't know what that means, it's basically like, sorry. It can happen if you use too many active products like chemical exfoliants, physical exfoliants, acids. Just when your skin, no matter how much you put moisturizer you put on it, it's red, everything stings. It can kind of feel irritated with literally absolutely everything. Or for me, my skin will get so dry, like my nose specifically will be pull like peeling off constantly, no matter how much moisturizer I put on, it's just, like that for weeks on end until it gradually gets better. One night of putting this on, the first night I put this on, my skin on my nose, which has not been staying on my nose for months, 100% solid. It's fantastic. And I don't need to use it every day, just when my skin like really, really needs it. all-in-one snail cream so it's from the same line as the serum and you truly need the littlest bit of this it is also kind of like that sticky tacky but I find because of that it does really well under makeup and it really locks in everything I've raved about their hyaluronic moisturizer it's also great this is my first time trying this one and I've been using it I don't know all month and I love it I think I will probably still go back to the hyaluronic acid one, especially in the summertime, but this went so good. And as always, we wait about 10 minutes before putting our sunscreen on while we're here. Not entirely sure how to pronounce it. Their sunscreen, it's raved about and it's worth all of the hype. It soaks into your skin, as you can see, no white cast, really hydrating. And as far as like good facial sunscreens go, it's not that expensive. I also loved this. This is also from CauseRx, not sponsored by CauseRx. They don't even know I exist. I buy all of these things myself. This is their Aloe Soothing Sun Cream. This is ridiculously hydrating, a little bit more, not like greasy or oily. I would say this would be more of an oil-based moisturizer consistency. And this one would be more of a water-based moisturizer consistency. Both super hydrating, just with a little bit of a different finish on your skin, but would read by both of these all day, every day. So good. That's the skincare, and now I'm gonna wait a little bit longer for all of this to soak in, and we'll start on makeup.
I bought the e.l.f. brow lift. I think this is supposed to be kind of like a dupe or similar to the Anastasia one. I also got their little brush and I like this a lot. The fact that I need my glasses to do my makeup is the reason why my makeup does not look great every day. I just brush them up and then you use the flat side of it, seal it in to give you that laminated look. My eyebrows are so wildly different from each other. Truthfully, my face is just not symmetrical genuinely at all. You do have to like pay a little bit more attention when you're going to make them a more more of a statement because if I don't do anything to them, they kind of pass as step siblings at least. But when I start manipulating them, they can turn into strangers. See that man walking down the street and I wouldn't know a thing. Sorry to that man. I genuinely just like love this stuff and it stays really, really well, like all day. And it's not expensive. I talked about this in the last favorites video I did, the e.l.f. power grip. It's really good. Now that that's tacky, I go in with my next favorite, which is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glotion. I've had these forever. They last a really long time, huge bottles. And they're ridiculously similar in the effects of the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I love the Flawless Filter, but that's expensive. So I don't wanna use that all the time. This one is in the shade 902 Light Glow. I focus it really on the center of my face and the places that I would highlight. You can also use it on top of your foundation as just a liquid highlighter, but it's really nice because it's not like glittery. I don't know if you can see, I mean, you can see my face or my hands. It's more glowy. We know my love of this. I've talked about it. And bounce skin tint from beauty blender it's really that good it is definitely not my current shade right now though because this is my summer shade this is not what I have been reaching for when I've been doing my makeup as of late and it hasn't looked as good I finally put it back on one day because I was going somewhere in person and I wanted my skin to look good in person not just you know for me without my glasses on and I was like oh yeah this just lays really 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 well with everything and even though it's like not my current shade it's so thin you can make it work it just looks like skin but it gives you the coverage of someone with you know really really good skin it wears so nicely throughout the day it also layers like if you want more coverage you can do that pretty easily i'm gonna keep doing my makeup and i will come back when i have a new favorite to show you my white balance was messed up before we're gonna have to deal i could be wrong and now the white balance looks worse than it did uh, i've got way too high of standards for myself because you're not watching me thinking you're getting jj abrams or spielberg but in my head i'm like but maybe you are and i don't want to disappoint you I have definitely already disappointed you if that was your expectation of me. I'm hating this knit that I picked. Not happy about it. My next favorite is from a brand that I adore so much, and I've already mentioned this video. Tower 28, they just released their contours. They're so good. This is the Sculptino in the shade Broad or Broad. I don't remember. And I just start to put it where I would put the contour. This is definitely like a warmer shade that I would have used as just bronzer versus contour, but I like the shade. Like I've got some cool toned contour shades and that's technically what you're supposed to use, but I don't know. The consistency is fantastic. So different between this one and their bronzers, aside from the fact that like my bronzer packaging broke, the bronzers have like a glow to them, like a shimmer. And this is truly like a contour, sculpting, sculptino, if you will. They blend so nicely. It's just so good. Did I contour right on top of my zit? Yes. Yes, I did. This is not a hair hair. This is a makeup brush hair that's in here. That looks gross. I'm still using the bronzer too. I kind of just put that around the same places, but a little bit more focused on the cheekbones. I'll probably go back in and add more around my nose because those TikTok filters of like the heavily contoured bronze blush nose, they've influenced me into my everyday life. <laughs> Telling you right now, if I look crazy, it's not my fault because I cannot see what I look like right now. I'm still absolutely loving the rare blushes. I've had these for so long. They're the mini size and I haven't run out yet and I use them all the time. So when I eventually get the full size, I know it's gonna last <laughs> forever. This is the shade Hope. It's a little bit of a darker pink. I start that, just one tiny dot, and then I do Peace. And this is more of a peachy shade. I kind of just tap each a little bit before I start blending. Then I take a little bit on the forehead, right across the nose too. Come on, stunning. This is an hourglass palette. I don't think they make this one anymore. It's just the formula of the hourglass highlighters that I love. I don't want 
Jeffree Star. I want something a little bit more natural, lit from within. This is it. I just dropped the next favorite. You could have heard all of it. It was comical, but I wasn't recording. <laughs> oh God. Well, we are missing an eyeshadow. I don't want to step on it. And it is my favorite one. <laughs> What I was saying before I dropped this, I used one of my old school favorites for my eyes. Baby Got Peach Palette from ColourPop. It's still available. I didn't think it was, so I didn't film myself using it. The peachy shades, if you've got blue eyes or you just like peachy shades in general, so good. I don't know where this one is, but I'll, I'll find it. I got a new eyelash curler and it's changed my life. This is from Shuamora. It's so good. My eyelashes are very straight. They're not hard to curl, but they don't really hold a curl. So I have switched to waterproof mascara, which completely eradicates that problem. Like the curl will stay them. This eye, not to flip you off. I have a lot of lashes that grow down. In this outer corner, they kind of just clump together. It curls them a lot quicker and the shape just works a lot better with my eye size and my eye shape. Like it just fits in nicely. I kind of pump it. Pump it. Look at that difference. I'm assuming you can tell. Then I go in with my mascara. I've talked about this one. I always rebuy this. This is the Falsies Lash Lift and Waterproof. I recently just bought the Colossal Waterproof from Maybelline. This is like a curl formula. I always get mascaras now in brown black because I have lighter hair and I have light eyes. It just isn't such a stark contrast. I have to say that that's probably one of the things I've changed with my makeup in the last year or so. That has made the biggest difference. One coat of this, it's definitely like a fluffy mascara. I'm not into the really, really, really dramatic eyelashes. I had my lash extension phase. <laughs> and I'm out of that phase now. I curl and then add mascara one eye at a time. Just again, if you have lashes that are straight, have a hard time holding a curl, I do find that that works best. You can also gently, slowly, carefully heat up your eyelash curler, use your blow dryer on it for a couple seconds, touch it to the back of your hand to make sure it's not scalding and burning and going to burn your eyeball. Don't do that. But that little warmth can also help. And you can also heat up your mascara. Not in the microwave. Oh my gosh, no. Don't say that. Why would you say that? I was going in here to take that that I like to highlight my inner corner, but alas, I dropped it. I already forgot about it. We do need to find that. I found it. It's this one. If I put these back in the exact same order, I didn't. Cute, right? I am even more in love with the Tower 28 lip liners than I was the last time I talked about them. And this shade is Fill Me In, and it's definitely the one I've been using the most. They're not too creamy, they're not too waxy. I feel like it's the perfect in-between. It has like a good lasting power. What's that black dot on my face? How could you not tell me that that was there? Has this been there the whole time? Get off my face. Okay, I definitely need to sharpen it. Soft blendy blend. I've re-fallen in love with this. This is the Dior Addict Lip Glow, and it's so good. It's literally just a lip balm that turns into a really, really nice pink color. Subtle enough and it adjusts enough that if I get it a little outside of my lip line, it's not lipstick. It's really, really good. And it's one of my favorite things to bring with me in my purse and reapply. Oh my gosh. The hype is real on this. This is the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. It's so good. I know I just keep saying everything is so good, but that's why it's a favorites video. Really just fills in all of those lip lines and hydrates and lasts. I'm an Aquaphor girly through and through, but I don't bring Aquaphor with me when I'm out and about. I don't like their like lip formulas in the tubes like this. And I'm not about to touch my hands to my mouth if I'm not by a sink. These two paired together, just so nice. Dare I say almost glossy. I swear this is not sponsored by Tower 28. <laughs> I'm open to it. They're lip glosses. My current favorite shades have been Magic, Oat, and Coconut. Coconut's more of like a true rosy pink. Oat, more of like a milky, nudie pink. And then Magic is this like clear yet gold reflective glitter. I think today we'll start with Oat. You have not lived until you've tried these. I'm not kidding, there's no better lip gloss in the world. They feel like a dream. They're not sticky, they're hydrating, they're so, so shiny and so rude. Don't they know that I'm filming? Just adding a tiny bit of magic right in the center because it's glittery, like butter on your lips. I keep wanting to say it's like slathering your mouth with vegetable oil, but that's not appetizing and that gives me the ick, but this doesn't. So imagine if that sensation doesn't sound 
horrific. Oh, it's good. I have one more lip favorite, which would it be crazy just to add it on top? This is a Milani lip gloss. This is the Bombshell Keep It Full Max Plumping Lip Balm in the shade 100. This smell, I would like to eat it. It smells like your favorite frat's jungle juice. And you know your favorite frat jungle juice does not smell like alcohol at all. Oh God, on my gum. That's tingly. That is it for the makeup portion of this favorites video. Let's move on to the rest. There is no way I couldn't include this. My giant wearable blanket. It's everything to me. We're backwards, abort mission. I've got thermal pants on, sweatpants, another pair of sweatpants, thermal long sleeve, two sweatshirts, and then this, nice and toasty. This next favorite you have seen. I have been wearing them all the time because I need them to see my glasses. Every single one I've bought is from iBuyDirect. They're so much more affordable than getting them with the eye doctor. You get glasses from the eye doctor? I swear it'd be like, oh, $350, $400. And that would be like with insurance? Absolutely, absolutely insane. It was like Invisalign for your eyes. I mean, I guess that's kind of what there are braces for your eyes basically, right? Wouldn't an eye patch be a brace for your, mm. My prescription's either negative two or negative 2.5 in each eye. Put, with that prescription put in on iBuyDirect, the glasses never cost more than $50 a pair. Never. This one has to be my current favorite. Sorry, you can see the light. These ones I've had forever. So now I pick out my glasses that are gonna go with my outfit. When I wore glasses every day, like before I wore contacts and before I got LASIK, I only had one pair. So it wasn't like you could switch them up and make them fashionable in that way. They're really functional, so. I like the fashion aspect. I guess stick with fashion favorites. Yeah, I know that was disgusting. I had boots on my bed. Granted, they're on like the top part of the covers which don't touch our body, but still. I've only worn them out of the house. I mean, maybe once. Honestly, maybe not yet. I need to leave the house more. These are black boots from Fenners. I think that's how you pronounce it. I did an unboxing on TikTok when I got these. I love them. They're really, really nice square toed, chunky heel, real leather knee high boots. I wanna say they're three inches or a little less than three inches tall, which to me is the difference between like an evening boot or a night out boot, a meeting boot or an all day boot. Like I could wear these all day. They're so comfy and so cute. And I have been on the quest for like, you know, Lorelai Gilmore boots, like high boots that are cute, but they're not like slouchy. They're structured, but they're comfortable. They're not like skin tight on your calf. They're also shaped so they don't just look like rain boots. And the cool thing about them is you basically pre-order them when they're manufacturing them. So they're not making too much. So they don't have an excess of stock. They're just cute and great. And I really like that idea and concept when it comes to sustainability. It makes more sense to me than the ridiculously expensive sustainable fabrics that you also just mass produce. Now I want red boots. I either want red cowboy boots, but someone said it's like how I met your mother. I've never seen that show, but I just, I'm feeling like it's not a flattering thing. My last two fashion favorites are some trousers. These ones are from Maritzia. They're the effortless pant. And then these are the Abercrombie, like a wide leg sort of trouser. I will say the Aritzia quality, it's a bit more high quality. It's a bit more like crepey material. That doesn't sound good, does it? It's not really stretchy at all, maybe a little bit, but the pleats are a little bit more dramatic. It shows a little bit more wrinkles. The fabric in itself is just a little bit more luxe and they're more expensive. I think the Aritzia pants run relatively true to size, but it also really depends on how you like your trousers to fit. I would feel comfortable buying these in like my current size and a size up and I would wear them both fine, like, and they would both be comfortable, just like slightly different looks. And mine are in tall. I do find sometimes their tall slash like long version runs a little bit different <laughs> in every pair of pants. If you can, I would try them on in person. I understand they work on commission at Aritzia, um, but prepare yourself. It is not a socially anxious, friendly environment usually. There's a lot of talking. The Abercrombie ones are definitely less dressy feeling, maybe a little bit less dressy looking as well. Like these will catch lint more than the other ones. The other ones have a little bit more of like a slick feel to them. These are the jeggings of 2023. They're comfy and you feel kind of like you're wearing sweatpants, but they're actually trousers, which they're doing more than jeggings ever really did. This duo has been saving my skin. This is the CeraVe SA Cream, rough and bumpy skin. We've been over this before if you've seen my other favorites videos. We don't sell this out because I will hunt you down. I have KP 
on the backs of my arms, sometimes a little bit on my forearm, and then all over my legs, especially my calves, and that's why I pick them. I mean, pick them because it's uh, like a compulsive thing. But this combo, this is the Osea body oil. This together, this helps treat my KP, and then this seals in that moisture. In the winter, my skin is like peeling off in chunks. Like I look like a snake. But with this, this like leaves my skin nourished, hydrated for like over 24 hours. It's so good. Another duo related to body care, my exfoliating gloves and then my body wash. This is the Olay Retinol Cleansing and Renewing Nighttime Body Wash. It's creamy, it's nice, it's affordable. Do I know if the retinol in it is actually doing absolutely anything? Probably not. <laughs> oh, it touched my mouth. Yucky. It smells really good, it's really creamy, it's hydrating, it does not irritate my skin, nor does it strip my skin, and then paired with these exfoliating gloves. My fellow white people, please, wash your legs. Wash your whole body. Wash the bottom of your feet. Wash in between your toes. Oh, wait, you scrub your body and you become like a whole other person. I am not a fan of loofahs. I'm not a fan of, I don't know, devices to kind of exfoliate. It's just a little less intuitive, but these are just gloves. They're just like nice rough and scraggly little gloves that get off all that dead skin. We're having a lot of combos because next is a shampoo and conditioner from Salt Air. This is Iskra's brand and it is so good. First of all, can you tell? Those are like aluminum, metal. The packaging, fantastic. The aesthetic, absolutely gorgeous. This is the Moisture Bound Hydrating line. They're so good. I have such a hard time with conditioner that's not a hair mask. It just usually doesn't do anything and it's not hydrating and creamy enough for my hair and I have to use so much more and add so much water to actually get it to like penetrate my hair. No, these are amazing. And then it's a hydrating shampoo that like actually cleans your hair, also doesn't leave it oily. And sometimes I find that with like, oh, we're gonna really hydrate your hair. And you're like, hmm, well, I just felt like I didn't wash my hair now that I've dried it and it just looks like I need another shower. Absolutely fantastic. Big fan. And they've lasted a really long time too. And our final hair care duo, I promise this was not intentional to have lots of these things in twos, are these two hair products from Briogeo. Oh, I love them. This is not sponsored by Briogeo. I did a wavy hair routine a while back and everybody was like, oh, this is definitely sponsored. And I was like, what? No, it's illegal if I didn't tell you that. Just saying. Some other creators, I think, think they're above the law. Straight up illegal. And I, I would tell you if it was, I'd be stoked for your show. I am available, but I love their hair care products. I've loved them forever. They're just so, so, so good. And these are two different masks. So this one is the Don't Despair Repair Rice Water Protein Plus Moisture Strengthening Treatment. Because we have hard water and my hair is especially dry, I use this after conditioner, but you can skip conditioner and just use it after shampooing. Apply from like roots to ends for at least 10 minutes. And then I rinse that out. And then if I'm feeling like extra, 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 want to even add more hydrating and nourishing, I add this. Wow, ironic. And this is their Apple Honey Deep Conditioning Mask. If you are in like the wavy hair or curly hair community, you know that they talk about protein and like rice water and things that can like really help activate your waves. But even if it's not like, it can just be really good for your hair. And then this one is like extra, extra hydrating. Oh, it smells so good. This not only like helped my hair once, it was all rinsed out and then I styled my hair and I was like, oh wow, this was easier, it was more manageable, it's like shiny, it's hydrated, it's nourished. The next time I went to wash my hair, which was straight up like a week later, my hair was more manageable in that shower. Then I like skipped it the shower afterwards because you know, conducting my own research and it became unmanageable again. And I was like, oh, Soul Duo. Absolutely fantastic. If a couple beverage related favorites, first up, my milk frother. This has changed my life. Not only does this froth your milk, it also heats it. I don't know why it took me so long to get this. Like it's, I don't know, 40 bucks, maybe less, 50. 50 is not less than 40. This is the brand Bodum. Bottom. Sorry. I have a problem. This just takes my coffee to the next level. Like I am happier because this exists. <laughs> My next favorite is my tumbler. This is from Simple Modern. I am not a Stanley Cup girl. I'm a Stanley Yelnats girl. Not a Shia LaBeouf girl, but a Stanley Yelnats. I cannot get behind the expensive, expensive water bottles and tumblers. No, like I cannot justify spending like $60 on it. Cause Moss is eventually gonna steal it and then it's gonna just like die at the bottom of his car. I have my really big pink water bottle that I use all the time. I like to stay hydrated. If I don't just have like all of the water I need to consume in one day, in one place, 
I'm not gonna remember how much I had. Yes, that does make this one a little bit more difficult, but I could not keep drinking from my pink one during the winter. It does a really good job at what it's supposed to do, which is stay cold. And I just was not drinking any water because <laughs> I was like, I'm cold, and then I'm drinking ice cold water, and I'm getting even colder. Then I would start to make tea, and I would put it in mugs, and within like five minutes, it would be lukewarm. I need to get into just like drinking warm water. So yes, that's what's in here. It ranges between hot and warm, and I consume it every day. No, I don't add a tea bag. The only thing I might add is salt to help with my heart rate. But you gotta do what you gotta do when you need to stay hydrated, and it's freezing. And I'm not gonna lie to you. I do like it. My next favorite is our heated blanket. I would not be surviving this season without it. I was terrified of it. This seems like a fire hazard. This seems like really scary. Like this just seemed like the beginning of an episode of a show that I don't wanna be on. It's great. I don't know if you can see it. I feel physically and emotionally safe with it. If you've been thinking about it, you need it. So I have a couple games that I've been addicted to. I was in a Sims mobile phase and I hate to say, I have not logged on in days. I haven't loved the last couple events and it's also because I have been hooked on the next three games. Designville, Love and Pies, and Merge Mansion. They're not sponsored by any of them so I'm not about to hop into like a Best Fiends level of review of them. But I'm just gonna tell you, they're merging games. Like you merge things together to create a new thing. It tickles a part of my brain. I don't know what it is, but it, those are all three merging games and they're like cute. Low stakes, not stressful, not high energy, just like chill games where you like merge things together all day. I love it. There are two TV shows. First is She-Hulk. I can't believe it took me so long to watch it. I love it. I am a Marvel girly and I have really been liking a lot of the TV shows. I liked Loki. I think other people liked Loki a lot more than me. I love Jonathan Majors. She-Hulk wasn't one that was high on my list to watch. I wasn't like counting down the days until it came out. And for that, I blame the press. They did not do a good job at marketing what the show was. And when there's a Marvel show or a movie helmed by a woman, the incels just get so mad online. And I feel like then hardly any press is picking up and talking about it because they're like, well, we don't want people to say negative things. I'm like, okay, well now no one's saying anything. And this show is so good. It's just so cool. Like it's a procedural law show, but Marvel. I was only gonna give you two content favorites, but talking about the MCU reminded me of this. I finally watched Black Widow. What? Why don't we talk about that one more? I understand why Scarlett Johansson was upset that it did not stay in theaters long enough for her to cash a fat, fat, fat check, or I guess a fatter check. Like, I get it. I don't get most of the things that she says. That, I got. Florence Pugh, love her to death. So good in it, so fantastic. It's just great, watch it if you haven't yet. And my final favorite is a bit of a throwback, Scandal. Yes, the TV show in which I named my nose for, the infamous Vlogmas videos, may they rest in peace, that Scandal. I have been telling Mots that he would love it forever. And I finally got him to watch How to Get Away with Murder and he was like, mm, I love this. And I was like, uh, I know, I've been telling you that. I mean, I do know why he finally caved and decided to watch Scandal with me, but he kept saying like, yeah, yeah, we'll watch it. Like, he's not one of those, I could never be in a relationship with someone who's like, I don't like your girly show, I'm not gonna watch that. Like, no. Like, he'll watch anything with me. But I wanted, in true me fashion, I'm like, well, I don't want you to watch it because I'm asking you to watch it. Like, I want you to be excited to watch. I want you to be as excited as me. And he comes home from work one day and he just puts on Scandal. And I was like, wait, what are you playing? What are you, what are you, what are you turning on right now? He's like, oh, I'm gonna start Scandal. And I was like, I've been saying this for so long, like what just shifted? And he goes, oh, I was listening to one of my sports podcasts and one of the guys from Scandal, one of the characters, him and someone else have a Scandal recap podcast and I did an ad read for it and it sounded pretty good. Sir, you heard an ad for a podcast about this show one time and now you're gonna, now you're gonna watch it. It took him one podcast ad to be like, yes. Years, one ad read on a podcast and he was like that sounds fire we should watch that i'm complaining now and i definitely like gave him for it but i was like okay do not care how you got here like we're watching it and i forgot a lot of it i mean yes i watched like the entire first season under anesthesia he had no idea what he was in for the first time someone died he was like oh what 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 are you what's going on and i was like babe there's so much more murder in this than how to get away with murder it's just been so fun i just love it i love everything that shonda does but especially wa watching mots <laughs> Watch it is just making my life. This is your sign to rewatch Scandal because it's just so good. It's gonna be it for my very, very long favorites video. I hope you enjoyed. Ow. I hope you enjoyed. I would love to know what you have been loving, what TV shows, maybe like albums, music, food, makeup, hair care, anything. It can be like tangible or, you know, conceptual. <laughs> so leave those in the comments down below and I will see you next time. Bye.